So now we're going to try converting some numbers from base 10 into other bases, uh, in this case, base 5. So we're going to try to represent the base 10 number 12 in base 5. Now, we're going to look at this in a couple different ways. So one way to say this, see this would be, uh, in base 5, we would have, uh, if we had place values, this would be 1's, this would be 5's, and this would be 5 squareds, or in other words, 25's. So if we're going to get 12, you can probably imagine that that is 2 5's, 2 times 5 is 10 in our base 10 system, plus, so 2 5's as well as 2 1's, right? So 2 5's is 10, 2 1's is 2, and that would give us 12. Okay, so the number 2, 2, base 5 is equal to 12, uh, in, in base 10. Now, another way to think about this is if we were to imagine, let's say, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 dots, we're sort of grouping into groups of 5 here. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, so we have 2 groups of 5, plus 2 more individuals, so 2 more 1's. So we have 2 5's and 2 1's gives us our 12. Now let's look at a slightly bigger number. So now let's try converting 69 to a base 5 number. And again, remember that these would be 1's, 5's, 25's, and the next place value up would be 5 cubed, uh, and 5 cubed is, is 125. Now, we don't have any of those, uh, and s right, this number is definitely smaller than 125, so we're not going to have any 125's in here. So let's think about how we could make up 69 using 25's, 5's, and 1's. So how many 25's can we pull out of 69? So 2 25's would be 50, 3 25's would be 75, which is too many. So we can do 2 of these 25's, because 2 times 25 is 50. Uh, now that leaves us with... that leaves us with 19 left over. So 19, how many 5's can we get out of 19? Let's see here, 3 5's is 15, 4 5's is 20, which is too many, so 3 5's we can get out, so 3 5's would be 15. Take away 15, what are we left with? We're left with 4, and so that would be 4 1's. So we got 4 1's left over. Uh, and if we take that, 50 plus 15 plus 4 is 69, and so 2 3 4 base 5 is equal to 69 in our usual base of 10. Again, we're using subscript here to represent the base.